Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ask the Tech Coach, the show where you get a chance to reach out and ask a tech coach. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. You can, of course, reach out to us and ask your own questions by emailing us at feedback at teachercast.net or perhaps leaving us a voicemail over at teachercast.net slash voicemail. Today, we have an interesting question. We have a teacher that wrote in to us after listening to our show and asked a question that goes like this. Dear Jeff. I have a classroom where I am hooked into a curriculum and I don't have a lot of time to get through the whole thing in the year, let alone introduce new technologies into this. What do I do? I really want to be creative and, and, and energize my kids. And today to help me answer that question, I have Rob Pennington with me. Rob is a tech coach from Connecticut. Rob, how are you today? I'm doing very well, Jeff. How about yourself? I'm doing well, but I really want to help out this teacher that wrote in to us looking for ways to integrate new technologies when they already have a very rigorous technology-focused curriculum that they have to do. So when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at you know do-nows. I'm looking at a uh, formative assessment that's online based. I'm looking at things that teachers can do just, you know, in a five minute time that doesn't take up a lot of class time. Rob, if you were set locked into a, a, a box essentially where you have to do this lesson at this time and you know that that standardized testing is coming up, but you really wanted to try a couple things, what would be one or two tools that you can quickly say, take out your Chromebook, take out your device, whatever you have, we're going to do this. It's only going to take four minutes. Let's just get this done. Well, depending on what tools you're using, I mean, you know, one of the things you can use the Google Classroom question feature as your do now, and I think you mentioned that already, you know, that's a way that you're streamlining your do now process. Kids hop on a Chromebook, they're answering their question or an exit slip. You want to know what students know. So that's another way that you can add that to your um, quickly to your curriculum, but also you're having students write. You know, you can easily have students working on Google Docs and really see the editing process through, you know, through the feature. You can have them instead of, you know, ha having them, you know, doing a mini project with kids where they're doing a quick animoto at the end of a lesson which isn't going to take you too long or a voice thread. You know, those are different things that you can do very, very quickly as mini projects because we don't, maybe you don't have the time for a huge big project that's going to take a week, but you have, you know, you build in one day, a one day project. What about introducing something as simple as a Kahoot at the beginning to just to get an idea for where kids are? I think that that's great. And, you know, that's going to get kids excited. Um, if you've been in a classroom with kids playing Kahoot, it seems to be something that never gets old. Kids love to play. And as a teacher, you get va valuable feedback from doing a Kahoot. So, you know, those are a couple things that you could easily do. One of the things that I also kind of recommend is if you want to, you know, instead of giving a specific homework, have the kids have the kids write a blog. Now you're using technology. You're getting kids to use their voice, and you know you're learning a lot about where they are. Well, let, let's dive into that one. If there was a blogging platform that you would recommend, again, we're looking at student safe, student friendly, um, inexpensive, possibly free, but you know, putting the power of creativity in the hands of the students. What do you recommend? Well. From a free standpoint, Google Sites, using the announcement page is a great way for blogging. I like EduBlogs, um, KidBlog, even though it's there's a cost to it now. KidBlog is a, a very safe platform for students to, to blog and as a teacher to monitor. How about you, Jeff? I am a fan of KidBlog, always have been. You know, we, we did write the book on KidBlog Literally, um, EduBlogs is great, uh, and uh, but you really do have to be a, a 
premium member to really take care of that teacher student thing. You know, we talked about this on another Ask the Tech Coach, but really to set up something like Google Sites where kids have page level permissions and they can then just get in there, do a blog post, you know, maybe post their homework, whatever. Quick and easy ways that kids can show you that they know what the curriculum is that you don't have to spend a lot of time on, I really do think is the answer. I, I certainly don't want to ever suggest that we not move into technology because we're using a technology-based curriculum system that the school district has purchased. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think that you just have to look for creative ways. You don't want to, you know, you have a specific uh program or a specific system that you have to do and you're getting ready for the standardized test. But at the same time, you know, you have, there's different ways and different things that you can do to engage students, um, get them excited and that don't take a lot of time. And I think that, you know, asking your tech coach for ideas is really a great way to say, look, I have this lesson. And if it's a really good lesson, technology is only going to make it better. Um, and not always, but that's something that I would look into is what could you do that's not going to take a lot of time that is going to use technology in your classroom? If you have a question of your own, you can, of course, reach out to us by email at feedback at teachercast.net. And if you'd like to leave us a voicemail, you can certainly do so over at teachercast.net slash voicemail. We want to thank our questioner today. And of course, anybody can subscribe to this and all of our other podcasts over at teachercast.net slash iTunes, where we would love it if you left us a great review and a five-star rating. Rob, where can we find out some of the great things that you're doing in, in your neck of the woods? You can find me on Twitter at Rob Pennington 9 you can visit my website at robpennington.weebly.com. And if you have a question, please reach out to hashtag AskTheTechCoach. And, of course, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Take care of the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.